Hi guys, so so many of you wanted to get a tutorial today on how to create logos. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to create two basic logos, one with just background, clip art, all of that fun stuff, and the second will be for a photo logo. So you can use these logos for Instagram, TPT, whatever you want, create your own, put your own twist on them. I hope you learned something, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you quickly how to create two logos, a regular logo and a photo logo for your Instagram or your TPT or whatever you want a logo for. Um, I already made my page dimensions a square, so you want to make it like 8x8 or 12x12, whatever your heart desires as long as it, the dimensions are a square. And now I'm going to go to insert a shape and I'm going to create a circle here. If you hold on your shift while you're dragging your shape, it will stay a perfect circle. Now I want to go to my shape fill and I'm going to go to picture from a file and I'm going to choose the background that I like. My logo has this wood gray background but of course you choose whatever background you prefer. Now I want my outline to change by default. All the shapes have this blue ring around them so I'm going to change that to black and of course you could do no outline if you prefer but I like my outline to be black and I'm going to change my weight. Now I'm going to insert text and when I create my logos I do create each word individually so I can change the effects of each of my words. I'm going to center it and I'm going to write count. I'm going to change my font to KG She Persisted and change the size of my word. Um, and I know I want this to be duplicated because I want to create a cool effect here. So all I did, I'm going to do that one more time, is I selected, I hit Control C and I hit Control V. And I'm going to highlight this word and I'm going to go back to format and I want my text to be this blue color. And you can do a lot of different things with your text. If you want your text to have an outline, um, you can change the weight. You can do a lot of really cool things with your text. Um, so now it looks like it has a little drop shadow. But again, you can play around with it and see what, what you like and how you like your letters to look. Um, and now I'm going to hit, hit Control C and Control V again because I want my me to be the exact same as my count. So I'm just going to hit control copy, control paste so I can grab that background. I'm going to change it to me. Oh no, but now if the order is wrong. So I'm going to go back and select the blue and I'm going to go here and I'm going to go bring to front. So now that me is in the correct spot. Um, but now I need to insert a new text box for the word on because my store name is count on me. Again, I'm going to center it. I'm going to write on. And I like to alternate between print and script in my logo, but you can do whatever you want. Again, it's your choice, it's your logo. And I'm gonna make this nice and big. Um, I actually also rotated my the word on in my logo to make it look a little fancier. And now I'm gonna hit Control Copy, Control C, Control V to duplicate that. I'm gonna click Format and I'm gonna choose Purple. I also do want an outline here, and that's my basic logo. Now, I don't have, I'm just going to move it over while I'm speaking, I don't have clip art on my logo, and that's just a personal preference, but if you want to add in your font, your clip art, you would just go to insert, pictures, and if you wanted to add in, let's say, a calculator, or a pencil to your logo, you can be as creative as you want, and make sure that you credit whoever you're getting your clip art from um, appropriately. So I'm going to insert picture, pencil. So if I wanted to have clip art on my logo, I could, but again, I don't, and that's personal preference, but you can if you want to. All right, so now I'm actually going to duplicate this slide. Actually, let's start from scratch so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to insert a new circle. I'm going to hold down my shift key to make it a perfect circle. But now instead of inserting a background, when I go to format and shape fill, I'm going to insert my picture. So here's my picture. I'm going to insert it. But it's a little off and that might happen with your picture. So all you have to do is when you go to your format, um, you can go to crop. And then you can crop your photo to be where you want it. So let's say I want it like that. But you can make it however you like. And the same thing goes for this. Once you go back to format, if you don't want an outline, you can take your outline out. I like to have an outline on mine, so I'll put an outline, change the weight. Again, you can be as creative as you want. 
then I insert another shape. I insert a rectangle and I put it at the bottom. And this is gonna be for where I write my words on my picture logo. So I'm gonna make it smaller. Stretch it over. And my shape fill I want to be white. And I do not want an outline for this. But I also want my shape to be transparent. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to format shape. I'm gonna click on fill here and I'm gonna change my transparency. And now you can see you can make the transparency as high or as low as you want to give you that effect. Um, I'm not going to alter this picture now, but of course I would alter it so that my the box wasn't um, covering my face, but this is just a quick tutorial for you so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select, selecting all three of those by holding down my shift key and I'm going to copy and then I'm hitting paste. I'm going to change my font size to make my font size smaller and then I'm just going to drag over my font so that it's on my logo here and you can drag them and put them wherever to add in your clip art, you can either select it from this page or you can select it and insert it from the file that you have. Um, you can make it smaller so that it fits where you want it. But again, I don't really, I prefer not to have um, clip art on my particular logo, but whatever you want to do with yours, you do. And that's really it. Once I save this, I'm going to save, go to File, Save As. I save it as a JPEG and my whole thing saves. I can insert it into my TPT or my Instagram, and that's really it. That's your basic logo tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something, and have a wonderful day. Happy Tuesday. I can't wait for the next one.